What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel guys. Bienvenidos. Today we're going to be installing some LED whip lights on the Can-Am 570 Outlander XMR. A company by the name of Dreamizer was courteous enough to send over this product to review just for you guys. I'm not going to take a lot of your time as it should be a simple install. With that being said guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And let's go ahead and jump into the video. Let's go. So here we have some uh, instructions. We got a waterproof uh, pouch for your remote. We got the wiring harness. We got some uh, mounting hardware here, which I believe these are gonna go into these two holes on your rear rack. And then also we got your actual LED light whip, which they seem pretty solid. Seems like it's got its traditional spiral LED pattern on it. And it looks like they measure around eight inches in height as far as the LED lighting goes. So with that being said, let's go ahead and mount this hardware on. Got these two holes here on the rear of the rack. And you've got your uh, mounting hardware. You're just gonna simply put this inside here. Your lock washer is gonna go on first, followed up by your flat washer. Then you've got your nut. Some long threads. that sucker on. Right. We're gonna go ahead and install the LED light whips. It's pretty simple. It's got a pullback uh, like your traditional air hose fitting and you just simply just pull it back and slide that joker on until you hear it click. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and do the same for the other side. Pull it back and it's mounted on. All right, so we got the wiring harness here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, put it inside this butt connector. All right, so we got that nice and secured here. And the next step is gonna be running this wire and I'm gonna be plugging into my accessory wire. I'm not gonna be going through the ignition uh, accessory wire. What I'm gonna be doing is going through the 12 volt plug. And this red wire here is another accessory wire you can actually use. I don't know if you can see it on camera. There, this red wire, I'm gonna be tapping into that. That way, whenever I turn off the ATV, the LED whips turn off as well. So let's go ahead and finish up this install. So quick recap, um, we pretty much got everything already installed, mounting hardware, LED whips on the mounting hardware. We got the power wire attached, and like I mentioned before, we went straight to the accessory wire on the 12 volt plug. So you're gonna grab one end of the LED whip, go ahead and insert it to your wire harness here. It's got some nice little arrows right here indicating which way it should go in. So match your arrows with your arrows, plug it in. So what I did with the wires from the LED whip is I went underneath. I don't know if you guys can see there. I went through this little hole here and up and under the cover here. So I did that on both sides here. Pulled it through the hole. And there it is right there, as you guys can see it. It's coming right here. Guys, right, so let's see what these uh, LED whip lights look like. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and see what's up. All right, we got power. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, anyways, yeah, this is what they look like, like a little rainbow pattern, if you will. So uh, we do have to download a application to change the LED settings. So let's go ahead and do that. The application we'll be downloading, it's called Magic Lantern, and it's got a barcode on, on the other side. All you do is just get your barcode scanner, Scan it, go ahead and install that. We'll go ahead and wait for it to install. Two hours later. Downloaded the app, it was super simple. Hit your three dot menu up top, you got your devices there. Uh, just hit link and it'll be linked up. Simple as that, easy peasy. There you go, you got your, uh, your purple, your green, your blue, yellow, orange, and I'm pretty sure there's tons of other settings. You can adjust the brightness. You can even have it play to the beat of your music. It's got another mode here. It's, so this one's transitioning to different colors. Look at that. Está con madre. I did want to show the functionalities of the remote. It's pretty cool because you can turn it on and off as you please. It's got some different uh, modes you can cycle through here. As you guys can see, and also you can just hit up your solid colors if you'd like. So yeah, guys, just something to consider. You actually have a remote on the trail. You just want to switch over a color, just turn around and 
beep, beep, there you go. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and take a look at these at night to get a better look at how bright these things really are. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're back. I hope y'all enjoyed that clip. And as you guys can see, these things are super, super bright. There's tons and tons of patterns that come with it. I'm gonna leave a link in the description if you guys would like to go pick some up. Once again, thank you to Dreamizer for sending over this product for me to review just for you guys. I appreciate everybody tuning in. If you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and click here. If you wanna watch another video, click here. I hope you have a blessed day and we'll catch you on another video. Let's go. What a wonderful world.